Hi, Dee Carter here. I'm here again to teach you how to do something that's going to help benefit you in the future. Something for your health. I'm making my own almond milk. I always make my own almond milk, but I've gotten so many inboxes because I posted on Facebook one day a picture of my almond milk and everybody wants the recipe. So I figured after thousands of inboxes, I'll show you how to do it. Um, before I begin, I want to show you what you need to make almond milk. Um, almond milk is made with almonds. Um, as you can see, I have some fresh almonds. This is an 8 cup cup, so I don't know if you use those, but I do because it's very beneficial to me. Um, I measure out my almonds and I soak them overnight. Um, I fill it half past the almonds with water. I soak them, you can put them in the refrigerator or you don't have to. I don't, I just soak them 8 to 12 hours and overnight usually is great for me. I wake up, um, drain them, and then I begin. Also, to make my almond milk, I use some raisins. I use a few raisins for flavor, like about maybe five raisins. Um, I use a little sea salt. I use um, a tad bit, tiny bit, not even a pinch of cloves, and I use fresh nutmeg. Now this nutmeg is not labeled, of course, it's from the farmer's market. It's organic, it's great, um, freshly grated. I love this. It's so flavorful. And I put a little pinch of vanilla extract in my almond milk. And that's what you need. Well, you need a paint strainer too. I know a lot of people say use cheesecloth, but I prefer a paint strainer. A friend that taught me how to make nut milk taught me that this inexpensive trick. Um, you can find these at Lowe's, Home Depot, the nearest hardware. Painters use these to strain the paint. Um, it should cost you anywhere between two dollars, three dollars. Very inexpensive, but very, very beneficial to you when you make your own. It's the best way to do it. You'll see. I'll show you. I also add about a teaspoon of vinegar to my milk as a stabilizer. It's a great stabilizer. If you like, it's a personal choice, but I like it. I add a little cornstarch as a thickener. You can also use um, fruit pectin, and they sell that in the box. I don't use gelatin um, because it's a little slimy, but I like I can use a little fruit pectin or cornstarch. So I add those to the end. As you can see, I've put my almonds into my blender. And actually, I chose to have a Ninja. I like the Ninja. It really works really well. You can have Vitamix, whatever kind of blender you want um, to use, actually. But I put my, I used two cups of almond, almonds. I filled up my Ninja with just over 64 ounces of water. Now, you don't have to make this much, but this is how much I want to make because I don't want to make almond milk every day. I want this to last about three days. And this is what I do. So I've added my almonds, my water. I add my salt to it, my sea salt, um, a little cloves. I like to put it all in. And as you can see, I did not take the skin off my almonds either. Um, a pinch, a little bit of nutmeg for flavor. And I'm going to put in about five raisins, about five raisins all the way in there. I'm going to add a little vanilla, the flavoring. You know what I didn't tell you? I didn't tell you that I like to put sugar in my um, I like to put evaporated, evaporated cane juice. That and maple syrup. I'll show you my maple syrup. And then I come back and I add the rest of what I need to add to it. And it's so easy, it's so easy, it's so simple. Power up. As you can see, the almonds have made a milk. I just have to strain it. I did put on kitchen gloves because I'm going to use my hand. Now you don't have to, usually I don't, but just because I'm making a video, I'm doing this. Because if you're making it for the public, you don't want to squeeze it with your bare hands even though I know it's full of love. Um, I took my paint strainer and I put it around my bowl. I stretched it around my bowl so that it could fit real snug, real snug around the bowl and inside of the bowl. It's gonna make it a lot easier. As you can see, 
I have my maple syrup and I have added two tablespoons of maple syrup. I like the way maple syrup tastes. I like the flavor of it. So all I'm going to do at this point is unlock my blender first. Take it off and I'm going to pour my milk into, into my paint tray. Okay. And it is milky. What I'm going to do is squeeze and press my milk. I'm going to press it, and actually, you can take it, just twist it, wring it out, just like that. This makes excellent milk. Now, I, want, I don't want to squeeze and wring it out too much because I don't want to put the fibers back into my milk. Um, the point of this is to get the fibers extracted from the milk. So now that I have done this, I have a bowl of milk. But I'm going to reblend. I'm going to reblend this milk, okay, to really get it nice and smooth again. I've placed the milk back into the blender. As you can see, it is milk. It looks good. I have about 64 ounces. I had to add a little bit of water to because it actually was about 58 ounces, but I wanted to have 64 ounces of milk, so I added a little water. I added about a teaspoon of cornstarch because that is my thickener. I want it a little thick, and I'm just going to let it go again. For about five minutes, I'm going to blend again. <laughs> You might wonder why I choose almond milk over cow's milk. Well, it's a matter of personal choice, but obviously almond milk is lactose free, gluten free, casein free, and cholesterol free. Um, it's also free of saturated fats. On the other hand, cow's milk is loaded. Um, it's high in protein, it has eight grams per um, eight ounce serving. Um, almond milk has 40 calories per eight ounce serving while cow's milk is about 150 calories per glass. Um, you know, cow's milk has all the A and the D, and if it's fortified, it has all those too, but I don't believe in having fortified foods. I like the natural vitamins, and if I could get them, those are much better for my body. My body is very much able to process it. And I believe um, if I'm getting the selenium and the vitamin E and the zinc and all that out of the almond milk, I'm having all I need. Um, as far as protein, um, I think protein is overrated. That's a personal choice. Um, some experts would agree with me. Um, my body and your body, you know, it takes the essential amino acids to make a complete protein. So as long as I have all the essential amino acids and I'm ingesting them, I'm okay. My body's gonna make the protein it needs to make. Just like a cow's body, you know, a cow's body takes all the essential amino acids that cow ingests from the grass and it makes the proteins that cow needs, you know, for the whatever function it's trying to make that protein for. So that's part of the reason I like almond milk. Um, I want to be healthy, um, slim and trim, and you know, having something that's cholesterol free, free of saturated fats, and all natural. It's seed. It's seed source, nuts and grains, um, which is what my body was actually created and designed to break down. So I'm happy with my choice for almond milk, and I just want to pass it to you. Also, making the almond milk is very inexpensive. I showed you what we need to do it, and I like it. It's very easy. It lasts longer. Um, as far as it being a new food, it's not new. Almond milk, making almond milk goes back and dates back to medieval times. Um, they made almond milk because it, it held its uh, consistency, it didn't spoil, it was easy to make butter and cheese from the almond milk. Um, it dates back, way back in history, thousands of years ago. So I'm just continuing the tradition. And hey, it looks like almond milk is already told you it would be fast, quick, um, very good. Um, the best way to do it is to taste um, for yourself to see how it is. And 
why I like almond milk. I love almond milk because it just tastes delicious. It tastes better. Mm. Let's see. Wish you could have a glass. But anyway, make your own. Let me know how it came out. And then we can just say cheers together. I don't know, online in the air. But bon appetit. Mm. Drink to your health.